And welcome back to Let's Play Stardew Valley. So last time we unlocked the bus to the uh, desert. We're going to the desert today. Uh, right after I check my mail. Albacore. Oh, I don't think we have time for that, Gus. Sorry. Actually, we might be able to find an Albacore at some point. We'll see. Anyways. Oh, I forgot to put in the earth uh, crystal in there. One second. Where did I put that earth crystal? Where did I put that earth crystal? There it is. So we're just going to keep this replicating for now. And once we get some more earth crystals going, we can make more, uh, mayonnaise makers. But for now, we'll just have to make do with what we have. Alright, how's- ooh, wait! Huh, my rabbit must have grown up. Oh, Daikon looks sad. But she's been fed, so she'll be fine. But, yep, rabbits drop- uh, I forgot that rabbits drop wool in this game. Unfortunately, I don't think we have a yarn maker yet, so we're gonna need to get that built. What do we need for that again? Uh, pine tar, fiber, and wood. Here, I'm gonna go move one of my tappers to a pine tree, then. Because we're gonna need pine tar. I wanna get at least a couple of, uh, wool makers going. Also, yeah, this- Fence really needs to be fixed in like a few days. Winter's almost over. Oh, wait. We didn't take care of the livestock yet. So I need to remember to actually get this all fixed. And also, when I stopped caring about the fence over there, it actually starts staying like normal. Alright, everyone here looks fine. Did you guys not eat yesterday? Because uh, that food is still there. And I know for a fact we did not feed you today. Oh well. No milk from Cherry. Everyone else is going to give me- oh, inventory's full. What can I throw away? Uh, we gave a sunflower already, right? Yes, we did, so we can sell those. Uh, I want to keep that, keep that, keep those. I kind of want to keep all this stuff, actually. Actually, no, I don't. There we go. Let's get all the milk processing, and then I want to go check out the uh, cart lady before we head to the desert. I think it's 500 gold to go to the desert. We'll see. Let me go grab my horse. And yeah, we're just going to have to sell the wool. No chance of getting loom today. And before we go, let me go move one of my tappers over to a pine tree. I believe I had a third one going, didn't I? Oh, it's right there. I see it. Here, let's just grab the uh, oldest one. Or the newest one, I should say. And just stick it on there. Alright, so eventually we'll have some pine, uh, pine resin going. Fortunately, looms aren't as important as uh, egg and mayonnaise ma er, egg makers. Uh, mayonnaise and cheese makers, those tend to be used more often. Because those are a daily thing. But anyways, anything good? Tortilla? Pufferfish? Not really. Ooh, an artichoke. Ooh, a dining table. That's 2,000 gold. No thank you. You know what? No, I'm getting it. It doesn't even fit my inventory properly. Alright. So we're pretty much done everything I want to do in the uh, valley. Let's head out to the desert. Actually, let me go empty my inventory and then we'll head out to the desert. I want to actually have inventory space while I'm out there. I also want to make sure I have something to eat. So let me see. We don't need these. Actually, I'll keep those in case I need to eat them. Salad for food. Cheese for food. Eggs for food. We don't need all this stuff though. Actually, I'll keep the bombs. Actually, speaking of bombs, I should probably make some. I'll just bring the materials. Geode, fish stew, fertilizer. Alright, and everything else we can just sell. Here we go. And we have salad for food. 
Also, I'm just gonna go put... Can I put this outside? No, let me go put this inside the house real quick. Problem is, uh, we don't really have room for it. Oop. Here, let's pick this one up and replace it with this one. Yeah, I'm gonna need to expand my house. We simply don't have the room for this stuff right now. But anyways, off to the bus. On my glitching horse. But yeah, Pam is the bus driver, which seems like a horrible choice. Considering she's the town drunk. But anyways, to get on the bus, uh, let me grab this out of the way. We basically have to go over here and buy a ticket, so 500 gold. And then we just have to make sure we're back by nightfall. I think it only runs till 9 p.m. But, welcome to the desert. There's some new stuff here we can grab. Like cactus fruit. But anyways, this is the Oasis shop. And pretty much the very last shop in the game that we haven't gone to yet. Oops, didn't mean to skip through that real quick. Huh, apparently Sandy and Emily knew each other. I honestly forgot about that. But anyways, welcome to Sandy's shop. Uh, she basically just sells fruit that we can't buy elsewhere, so beets, star fruit. Actually, I think we need, like, let's grab ten beet seeds. Uh, that'll be important later. Honey. Also, her fourth item varies by day. We want to come out here on Wednesdays, actually, because she sells Omni Geodes for a thousand gold. So, once we get some money going, also, we can't go over there. The bouncer won't let us. But once we get, like, a ton of money, we can just come out here and buy all the Omni Geodes so we can get all of the gems. But that'll have to wait till later, mostly because right now we're still kind of poor. Also, worms. This is also a good place for artifact hunting. Unfortunately, we're getting nothing but clay right now. And coconuts. Clay and coconuts. But anyways, there is one more thing in this area, and it's up here. Remember that one key we got a ton a long time ago? Well, this is where it goes. And welcome to the Skull Dungeon. This is pretty much the endgame mine. Uh, this is where we're gonna find, like, all the Iridium and stuff. However, speaking of Iridium, we probably shouldn't come in here until we're, like, really prepared. Because some of the monsters in this area can kind of really mess me up. Also, unlike the other dungeons, or uh, the other mine, there's no elevator. So every single time we have to start from the first floor and go all the way down. I think we have to go down a bit before we actually see any Iridium. But who knows, we might get lucky. Let's just do a few floors of this and then we'll go. Also, I kind of want to buy a better sword. Right now, this sword is doing well, but uh, once we start getting deeper, it's not going to hold up very well. Also, I just remembered. We don't want Holly, but I also remembered we had bombs. Let's use them. Because why use the energy and pickaxes? Also holes. They basically let you go down a few levels. Unfortunately, I think they also take away some health. Because you are jumping down five stories. Or multiple stories. I think some of them can actually uh, make you go back up. I'm not sure about that. Uh, more coal, mushrooms I don't need. Let's see if we can find anything rare. Also, bugs. Bugs that we can't actually hurt. Yeah, we're just going to have to avoid them. Anything good on this floor? Also, I think we can find like a lot of Omni Geodes in this area. Ooh, a box. Nothing in there. Let's keep going down. We might find something rare. Or death. We might find death too. That's oh, that's always a possibility. But so far it seems pretty calm. And I'm probably just going to keep fighting monsters just to get my level up. Because this is probably the best place to grind like combat levels. Or to grind your combat skill. 
Oh, no, we got dragons. Yeah, we're almost dead already. Let's just eat all this cactus fruit we just found. Cactus fruit actually recovers quite a bit. So if you don't feel like cooking cactus fruit or like cheese is a good way to get a lot of health back really quickly. But yeah, we're seeing dragons now. And I can already- wait. That's Iridium. We found Iridium. This has been entirely worth it. Now I just have to make sure I leave before I get knocked out by dragons. Here, I'm gonna eat that last cactus fruit just in case. I don't want to run around with the half health. Also, we can't guard against them. It does do a bit of damage, but not a whole lot. Also, it only works from the front. If they come at you from behind, you can't guard against that. Ooh, a big bomb. Except my inventory is full. Here, I'm just gonna take out these slimes and get out of here. I think that we can buy a better sword at the shop right now. Or at the, uh, whatchamacallit, Adventurer's Guild. So I might run over there, like, later and grab myself a better sword. Also, we might as well eat this white algae instead of throwing it away. Little bit, bit of health and, uh, I almost got it, hard, hardwood. Bit of health and energy. Can't throw anything else away, slime. Is that a frozen tear? That's a frozen tear for some reason. We've donated one of those already, right? Let me make sure. Yeah, we have. Alright. Here, let me take a quick look around the floor, see if I can find any Iridium. And if not, I'm leaving. Rocks, rocks. No, there's a box over there, though. Uh, sap. Am I carrying sap with me? Yeah, I have sap with me. And maybe there's something in this, uh, box. Nope, just more sap. Alright, let's get out of here. Next time I come out here, I'll probably have better equipment and hopefully more, uh, food on me. But anyways, that's pretty much the... Well, that's the majority of the desert. There is one other thing we can get, but not until later. Actually, we should probably take a look at the... There is a side quest we can do that'll get us more stuff in the desert. Remember that bouncer guy? There is a way around him. And I'm pretty sure we can trigger the side quest now. Also, Pickles has been waiting out here this entire time. Oh, oh, that message is new. Huh. I've never gotten that before. That must have been something they added in, like, in a recent patch. But anyways, let's take a quick look at the end of this tunnel uh, right now. Actually, I should have probably brought my horse in here. Uh, alright. I thought we could trigger it in here, but I guess not. Wait. I saw a hand icon. Battery-powered lockbox, you say? Let's run home real quick and grab a battery. I think we still have some batteries in storage. Also, we have enough iridium, I think, to make another ingot. So we should probably get that going, because it's probably going to take all night. Also, it's already 6 p.m. Uh, did we need to have a relationship? Nope, we're good. Oh, right, full inventory. We can't throw out. I don't want to throw out any of this stuff. I especially do not want to throw away that, away that Iridium. Huh. Here, let's actually go sell all the stuff we're carrying then. I completely forgot our inventory was full. Again. Although, that seems to be how my inventory is by default by now. So, don't need those. Oh wait, no, 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 give me that geode. Honestly, we don't need that diamond. Alright, and everything else will go in storage. Where did I put my iridium? There it is. Beets, bombs, bombs, hardwood. Oh wait, I'm out of room. Uh, hardwood... A table. 
And everything else I'll keep on me. Actually, wait. Give me those beets. Let's go plant them. I forgot, we have a greenhouse now. We don't have to wait till spring or whenever we need. We don't need to wait until next fall. Let's go plant them right now. I'll just grab some sprinklers while we're here. Oh right, this one's empty. And they don't need to be high quality beets, so... In the ground they go. But yeah, I think we need 10 beats for a, a side quest later on. Eh, uh, that's fine. Let's just put that down here, and I honestly don't need the other sprinkler. So we might as well just stick it over here. Everything gets extra water. Alright, oh, Earth Crystal's done. Uh, do you have the materials I need for the mayonnaise maker? Uh, wood and copper. Alright, we can do that. And iridium. That's gonna take a long time to process. So where's my wood and my copper? I know I have a copper bar around here somewhere. Huh, guess not. All right, well, we'll just make one then. And then let's just go finish processing everything. Grab all my stuff. Also, I think I have like four eggs in my... Yep, we have a lot of eggs. We're definitely gonna need more mayonnaise makers. Considering it's actually starting to build up. Alright, we're good. So once that copper is done, I'll get another mayonnaise maker going down there. Actually, you know what? Let's put another copper bar going. Oh, nope. That'll increase our productivity. Also, only two more days till the end of the season. Winter went by relatively quickly in this game. You know, I'm used to winters and harvest moons kind of dragging a bit. Honestly, I did kind of drag a bit in the middle of this one too, so... It's not that different. But anyways, I think it's time for bed. Let me just check the weather real quick. It's gonna snow. Oh wait. Okay, no. I was gonna. I thought I saw a cooking show. All right, more money. Awesome. All right. Sorry about that. Had to cut the recording for a second. But anyways, let's get to work. So the iridium should have been done by now. Oh hey. Okay. Mr. Q wants us to get 25 levels down into the, uh, mine. I don't know who Mr. Q is. Actually, I do, but that's for another time. But, we might as well do it. After all, what harm is there in doing whatever a letter tells us to do? But anyways, we have Iridium. And Iridium means... We can make an Iridium sprinkler. Actually, I think we need gold for it. Uh, and a battery pack. Oh, speaking of battery packs, we also need one for that weird tunnel box. I'll be sure to go do that later. Also, we might as well just put it down now. So yeah, we have another Iridium Sprinkler. That's gonna come in real handy once, uh, Spring gets here. Just so I can keep the one in the greenhouse going forever. Because I am not removing that. We're going to have that field of cranberries going for all of eternity. Because money kind of is important. Actually, I should probably go check on that. I think it's time for another uh, cranberry harvest. I'll check on that once I get out of here. Oh, missed an egg. But anyways, let's take advantage of the fact that we now have five mayonnaise makers. And actually, you know, get our eggs done in one day. 
Instead of having them all piled up in my inventory. I still want to make more Manny's Makers, though. We have enough chickens and stuff to actually take advantage of them. Let's see, oh, you are happy. Good. So I guess animals just don't eat on festival days in this game. I don't remember if it was always like that or if that was something that was patched in. I mean, it's convenient, even though it makes absolutely no sense. Oh well. We have milk that needs to be pressed into cheese. Also, I'm pretty sure cheese wouldn't be made in like these outdoor conditions. Pretty sure those would have to be indoors to work properly, but... I guess our craftsmanship is just that good. I was gonna say who's ever made it's craftsmanship, but I just remember that we're the ones who made it. Made it. Wine. More blackberry wine. Uh, which one's the one that isn't being used? There it is. Kinda hard to see when they're all like stuck together like that. Do you have any pine tar yet? Not yet. Nope, no cranberries yet. One day. Oh, copper's done, but I don't really need it right now, so I'll grab it later. So let me see. Mayonnaise, we don't need you. Uh, I might get that broken open at some point. And we do need to start gathering more wood. If we're gonna get our, uh, chick not chicken coop, our barn upgraded. So I'll be sure to cut down any trees I find that aren't on the farm. But anyways, let's go take a quick look at... Where's my battery? Let's go take a quick look at that box. It's battery powered, and now we have a battery. Uh, there it is. In you go. Rainbow shell to the train platform. Alright. Unfortunately, we don't have a rainbow shell yet. We can probably swing by the beach and see if we can find one. But I think they're in like a random spawn. Although I think we can also buy them from the, uh, from the cart lady. And I know for a fact they don't appear on in the desert because they're seashells. But maybe we'll run into one at some point. Although I think we would have to donate to the museum first. We'll see. Wait, 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 wait. I see sparklies. Although I think that's too far offshore. Let's go panning. If I can reach it. Nope, it's too far out. Oh wait, no, there we go. What did we find? We found iridium. Huh. I did not know you could find iridium through panning. Mostly because I've only done it once because you've seen how rare it is to find sparklies in the water. Huh. Well, I'm keeping the copper pan on me at all times. We're actually getting really lucky with Iridium in the, over the last two days. I'm honestly kind of surprised we've gotten this much. Also, I'm gonna check over here, see if there's a shell over here that spawned. Doesn't look like it, just coral and sea urchins. And a Nautilus shell. Two Nautilus shells. Uh, snow yam. Alright, nothing over here. In that case, let's just go to the woods and gather a ton of hardwood and wood. Maybe I should upgrade my axe at some point. Eventually, I do want to get either both my axe and my pickaxe up to a uh, iridium level. Also, I'm pretty sure in real life Iridium is actually not that hard. It is radioactive, so maybe making tools out of it is a horrible, horrible idea. Oh well. My garage. But anyways, actually I think I'll end the episode here. So, off screen I'm just gonna go gather like a ton of wood and hardwood. Oh, worms. Also that tree still hasn't grown back. I also have no idea where I'm going. So anyways, next time on Let's Play Stardew Valley, probably the end of winter.
So, till then.